ba 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 welcome back and hello once again to another episode of Cory Mode and today we are starting off on news that Rooney Wayne Rooney wants to live Manchester United and that is just exactly why he didn't play today versus who was it Liverpool <laughs> no I'm just joking so uh, yeah we're we're signing Adrian um, with Flamengo so that is good and then I want to sign Kurt Zoma I think he's a Frenchman and I want to trade Alexander Nesta because his wage is too, too, too much. So I made a stupid offer and I didn't look at how many transfer budget do I have. But that is what we are going to do next after this game. So we have Baltimore Wonders. And to be honest, I, d I did not remember to playing versus Bolton in the uh, uh, last year. In last season, but yeah, we're starting off with a nice shot from uh, Fabian Delph just delving the defense, and yeah, nice finish. I, I mean, Fabian Delph is just working for me, and then I made a stupid, stupid error or flaw or mistake or whatever you want to call it. Um, then they just outplayed me with a little bit of passing, and then Lee finish up into the left corner if you're watching from the Lee's perspective. There are meant. Wow, really, Dermot is still injured, so uh, that's probably our best player, he's missing, uh, Joe Hart didn't, didn't do anything about it, sure, because, to be honest, that was a sniper shot like that, uh, even though my player was kinda on him, but like, nah, <laughs> so next up we have Agbonla, who are bursting through the defense, and gets up a corner, because the corners are awesome, and we are using the created set piece, so I whip it in, I whip it in, and there he is, boom, nobody, I mean, Pogba manages to get a shot, but it was blocked, because the defender was like a couple, uh, sorry for that, couple of meters, I just ate, couple of meters in front of him, but then Christian Benteke, boom, Golasso, Belgium superstar for me, uh, just using his dribbling motion and strength and pace and everything. He's a complete package of like Emenike and just completely destroying uh, Destroying the goalkeeper and there was a big hole. So that's what I take a shot and then will the Passes to Engong Engong and I'm, I'm confusing because Engong should have scored it because computer scores like from a much difficult situation But here he didn't and another one look at that Dave's just completely misses the goal And that is funny because sometimes the goal is just freaking like the first goal was sniper accurate And then these two goals didn't happen and also this one. Yeah last minute <gasps> Wow nice finesse shot from him and almost a goal, but we didn't manage to pull out ourselves to a 1-1 versus Walton, which is not really good because Walton aren't that good. But yeah, we, we managed to sign Adrian from Flamengo. Um, so, as I said, he's a cam. We need him for our second result because there's work and look at his mistake. I just offered him that uh, the amount he wants, $9,000 per week, which is greatly, greatly less than Nesta, because Nesta is experienced and all that, but he's a promising player. So yeah, Manchester United wants to trade thing uh, Euroni and I said the stupid mistake like that four millions and I don't even have four millions. I have one hundred thousand dollars. Where the fuck am I going to get freaking four and half millions? So I just put some players on the trade and yeah, Barcelona talking about millions. Barcelona just buys Wayne Rooney for thirty four and a half millions. I look at that. That's almost the double we have on the start of this transfer list. So yeah, I just I'm just wondering from where do we have the money? But nevertheless, now Manchester United are greatly, greatly uh, like decreased in the performance because they don't have Wayne Rooney, but just still, I mean, he's still in a good shape. But the reason. Uh, why I'm not too happy because we're only gone because in two, two or three games we have Barcelona in, in the Champions League I think that's it, the cup and yeah so that's not it I'm not looking forward to play versus Rooney and then um, so let's jump into the game look at that maneuvering from Coney we are playing versus Vega Athletic the last team we played in last season if that makes any sense 
So they are starting off with a nice attack, a nice shoots, a nice chances, and they did, did, did that. Did, ah, that just didn't work because they outplayed me like a bunch, and I played a lot of seasons the last couple of days, so I wasn't getting used to the freaking career mode, which is a completely another game. So I got a corner versus a nice shot uh, from Banan, and you know, you know, you know, he steps up once again. Christian Dumont, Benteke, Belgium superstar again. I'm saying that I shouldn't say that because he has some great players like Fellaini and uh, company. And I won't talk about it because you'll see, you'll see when I have an international match. So we're up one nil. Not really a good one up because they deserve to be like five up. <laughs> I like that one another chance. They deserve to be one up. And I, yeah, that's that's how it works. That's how it works. So I changed my playstyle because that didn't work, and changed to like possession and passing shenanigans. And I managed just to get a nice, nice opportunity with Christian Medeka once again, but he didn't score. Also here another chance for him. He turns around. He shoots. Ah, oh, Cooper just barely got to it. I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> and then the, uh, on the other side, they have a nice dribbling, and I just completely failed with Lehigh. I wasn't containing right there. And then this Santo, the man with thousand opportunities with his at this time, but did not capitalize. So in the na last minute, 90 minutes scripting, I don't know how the fuck is all Brighton still with the wall, but I, I dig it. Banan, Agbon Lahore, nice finesse shot. I wasn't expecting a goal to be honest, it just shocked me like 2-0 up versus, uh, versus Wigan with Kone in front, like Kone has like the same haircut as Balotelli, actually I should say that round, Balotelli has the same haircut as Kone have. So the game finished 2-2-0 on Villa Park, Christian Benteke and Agmola Horvath, the goal scorers, I'm sorry I'm just wiggling around my seat to that. Uh, the noise in the background, so basically Blair and Bent is kind of back from the injury, but uh, Yeah, he, there's still a chance that he will get injured again, so as you expected, it's the trade deadline day and Basically we can sell a player that that cam I don't like and he's very unhappy and he's not in the form So I sell him and I hope we can sell another player to win Kurt Zumba But that didn't happen I could have offered less, but my mind is my mind weren't there. So yeah, so I stalled it for a few weeks, and I, actually I didn't sign him. But talking about transfer deadline, here's the top deals. As you can see on the right screen, we have Wayne Rooney from Manchester United to Barcelona, three uh, three thirty-four and a half million dollars. Or yeah, that's euros, not dollars. And then we have Mario Gomez from Manchester. Wow, really Manchester, wow, I'm talking crap today. From Bayern München to Chelsea, if I'm seeing right. Then we have Victor Ibaba from Cagliari to Wolfsburg. And then we have uh, Leonardo Damia from Porto Leban. No, I'm not just talking to Inter. And then we have our transfer. We have Hart from Manchester to Will and then Ramirez from Chelsea to Atletico Madrid. Lovren from Olympiacos to Roma Suarez. And some great names which I don't like, but so yeah, so that's basically it for the transfer uh, markets. As you see, we have Champions Cup Barcelona in the next episode, and of course, Newcastle. I don't know if they have Demba Bar or not, but we are currently second in the in the in the freaking table, Spurs above us. So that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, my name is TV. Bye bye.